embroidered apparel she is borne to the king. Behind her the virgins of her train are brought to you. They are born in with gladness and joy. They enter the palace of the king. There was a wedding in Cana in Galilee. And the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the wedding. When the wine ran short, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, how does your concern affect me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servers, Do whatever he tells you. Now there were six stone water jars there for the Jewish ceremonial washings, each holding 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus told the servers, fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then Jesus told them, draw some out now and take it to the head waiter. So they took it. And when the head waiter tasted the water that had become wine without knowing where it came from, Although the servers who had drawn the water knew, the head waiter called the bridegroom and said to him, everyone serves good wine first, and then when people have drunk freely an inferior one, but you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this at the, as the, at the beginning of his signs in Cana in Galilee, and so revealed his glory and his disciples began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. The mother of Jesus said to him, they have no wine. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Today's Gospel, as you know, is wonderful story, miracle of Cana of Galilee. It's the most beautiful story and it's one of the mysteries, the new mysteries we have in the rosary, the luminous mysteries, the second luminous mystery, the miracle at the marriage feast at Cana. Like all the mysteries of the rosary, it tells us many, many, many things. Now today I'm also saying for you the Mass, Our Lady, Mediatrix of All Grace. Isn't it interesting that only Our Lady saw they had no wine? That's a very worldly thing in a way, for her to notice that there was no wine, and she was troubled, so she asked her son. She interceded for the married couple who would be very embarrassed without any wine. How can you have a wedding feast without wine? And Our Lady had great concern for that couple. And she told Jesus, they have no wine. That's a great mystery. What does it also mean? It means that Our Lady goes to her son and she tells her son about us. They have no faith, they have no money, they have no job, they have no this, they have no that. So Our Lady is constantly interceding for us. So this is a, a wonderful teaching, a most wonderful teaching of Our Lady. And we see, of course, as in all the mysteries of the Rosary, it tells us many, many things. You have saved the best wine to last. That could be interpreted, of course, is God has saved the best wine for last when we're in the kingdom of heaven we will be having enjoying the eternal wine of Jesus' love, the wine of his love for all eternity. My dear friends, most important to the message of Fatima is Our Lady said to pray the rosary. Pray the rosary, it's the most wonderful thing in the world. 
It's been, this, the rosary, as you know, has been celebrated by all the saints of our time. They have always told us to pray the rosary. And today I'm going to tell you just a little bit about the rosary as regards the promises of Our, La Our Lady. I'm sure you've all heard them, but I've heard them many, many times, and every time I read them, I learn something new. There's something I had read before, but I forgot. So, as we know, repetition is the mother of all learning. We need to have this repeated to us. If you Google in, if you don't know what Google is, go check with your grandson or granddaughter, or son or daughter, and say, what does Google mean? And Google in 15 promises of the rosary. And you'll have just what I have here on this little card. 15 promises to Saint Blessed Alan, a Dominican. Our Lady gave him 15 promises of what will happen to all those who pray the rosary. They are the most wonderful promises. I made a promise to a friend that I would say a decade of the rosary when I was nine years old. I didn't always want to say it. Many times I was in bed and I would hear a little voice saying to me, you didn't say the rosary today. And I say, I don't want to say it, I'm tired, I'm gonna to go to sleep. But you promised, oh. And I thought I had to get out of bed, and thank God I did, because I probably would have fallen asleep. I got out of bed, knelt down, said my decade of the rosary, then went back to bed. My dear friends, that was a turning point in my life when I made that promise. I would not be here today without the rosary. That's for sure. And I'm sure many of you could say the same thing. So, first promise of the rosary, whoever shall faithfully ser save, serve me by the recitation of the rosary shall receive signal graces. When you pray the rosary, you'll get special graces. Two, I promise my special protection and the greatest graces to all those who shall recite the rosary. Our Lady's special protection and the greatest graces. Three, the rosary shall be a powerful armor against hell. It will destroy vice, decrease sin, and defeat heresies. Now that last one is very, very important. The other two, of course, is to defeat vice and be a powerful protection against the devil, hell. But also heresies. There's so many people who fall into heresies these days. They believe things that are not true and they get led astray. Like for example, a lot of people think everybody's gonna to go to heaven. But that's not true, that's universalism. Everybody's saved, but it's not. Our Lady said to pray and sacrifice because many souls, many souls will go to hell because no one prays and sacrifices. And Our Lady showed the children hell. And if you've become a heretic and you, don't, and you believe untruths, you have a good chance of losing your soul. So when Our Lady says she'll protect you against heresies, that's very, very important. A heresy, of course, is believing something that's not true, a teaching of the church. You believe that something is not true, not what the church truly teaches. Like some people might believe that the Blessed Eucharist is just a piece of bread. No, as the angel's prayer at Fatima tells us, it is the body and blood, soul and divinity of Jesus Christ. People, some people don't believe that. That's a heresy. And you commit a mortal sin, and will you save your soul? Good question. Four, it will cause virtue and good works to flourish. It will, obtain, it will obtain for souls abundant mercy of God. It will withdraw the hearts of men from the love of the world and its vanities. And it will lift them to the desire of eternal things. Oh, that souls would sanctify themselves by the rosary. Sanctify yourself by the rosary. Five. The soul which recommends itself to me by the recitation of the rosary shall not perish in hell. 
So if you pray the rosary and you recommend yourself to Our Lady with the rosary, you shall not suffer the fires of hell. That's an amazing promise. Right? Six, whoever shall recite the rosary devoutly, applying himself to the consideration of its sacred mysteries, like we just did with the marriage feast of Cana, they have no wine, you have saved the best wine for last, of the sacred mysteries shall never be con conquered by misfortune. God will not chastise him in his justice. He shall not perish by an unprovided death. If he be just, he shall remain in the grace of God and become worthy of eternal life. Worthy of eternal life. Seven, whoever shall have a true devotion to the rosary shall not die without the sacraments of the church. Eight, those who are faithful to the recite the rosary shall have during their life and at their death the light of God and the plenitude of his graces at the moment of death. They shall participate in the merits of the saints in paradise. So God will be there with the plenitude of grace at your death. Nine, I shall deliver from purgatory those who have been devoted to the rosary. If you're in purgatory, if you've been devoted to the rosary, Our Lady will, be, will deliver you from purgatory. That's part of the Sabbatine privilege, too, if you wear the scapula. They say that Our Lady will be down there on the sad day after you die to take you out of purgatory for wearing the scapula and fulfilling its promises. Ten. The faithful children of the rosary shall merit a high degree of glory in heaven. Glory in heaven. We know from the prophet Daniel, they that teach others unto justice shall shine like stars for all eternity. So if you pray the rosary, you'll have a high glory in heaven. You will shine like a star in heaven. 11, you shall obtain all you ask of me by the recitation of the rosary. That's a promise. All that you ask of Our Lady, you will obtain. So if you want something, do a rosary novena. 54 days of the rosary, 27 days of petition, and 27 days of thanksgiving. And she promised all you ask. 12, all those who propagate the Holy Rosary shall be aided by, aided by me in their necessities. So if you tell people to pray the Rosary like I am do, doing now, Our Lady will help me in all my necessities. 13. I have obtained from my Divine Son that all the advocates of the Rosary shall have for their intercessors the entire celestial court during their life and at the hour of their death. The whole celestial court, all the angels and all the saints. 14. All who recite the rosary are my sons and brothers of my only son, Jesus Christ. My sons, those who recite the rosary. 15. Devotion to the rosary is a great sign of predestination. What does predestination mean? Pre, before, destination. Predestination, it will be a sign of your predestination for heaven. My dear friends, those are 15 promises. Go over them on when you get a chance. Copy them down from the internet. Have your son or daughter Google it. 15 promises of the rosary. Meditate on them. You can't beat it. It's the most wonderful thing in the world. If I were to give you a million pounds today, after this service today, I'll give the first hundred people who come to me a million pounds. You'd be storming the doors. And yet, my friends, a million pounds is nothing, 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 nothing compared to what I've just told you. A million pounds, you can't take it with you. You could probably go die and get hit by a, a bus on the way out, so much as your million pounds. Can't take it with you. But everything I've said about the rosary, you will gather and you will bring into eternity. 
all eternity you'll be singing the praises of Our Lady and her Holy Rosary. So meditate on the Rosary. I know it's not easy, but there's lots of things you can do to pray the Rosary better. And Our Lady will teach you how to pray the Rosary. Get de Montfort's book to seek the, the, the Holy Rosary. He gives you many, many, many helps to pray in the Rosary better. And one help I'll just add, because I don't want to go on forever, is for each mystery have a, have a particular virtue, the fruit of the mystery. Ask for a virtue, like in the virtue of purity in the second sorrowful mystery. Jesus Christ, who was scourged for my sins of the flesh, to give me the virtue of purity. That's a good one to pray for. So do that for every mystery, and think about the mystery as you pray the rosary. As you say the Hail Marys, you think about the mystery. And as St. Thomas Aquinas says, when your heart is transported, even though you're saying words, your heart is transported to the mystery, that's a very, very special prayer. That's mental prayer. And that's why the rosary is so beautiful, because it combines vocal prayer and mental prayer with your mind. So Our Lady said at Fatima, pray the rosary. When enough people have done what I say, pray the rosary, and the five first Saturdays, we will have peace in this world. And that's what the Holy Father is going to do this weekend, to consecrate the world again to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And let us hope that we get many graces from that. And you pray the rosary, and we'll have even more and more graces from Our Lady. Signal graces. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being here. And make it a promise today, if you're saying the rosary, not saying the rosary, at least a decade. And if you're doing a decade, do at least five decades. And if you could do more, do more. God bless you.